awful roar of the blast, equal to a discharge of 60,000 depth charges, each weighing 600 pounds, strikes the ears of the observers. Many miles away, the raging might of searing flame, crushing force, and deadly radioactive water is seen falling in a killing mist as a great circular wall of sea closes in on the guinea pig fleet. The second bomb was intended for the city of Kokura, but it was too cloudy, so the plane moved on to Nagasaki. World War II, one of the most devastating wars ever, the most global war to ever be fought. The war was fought and impacted most corners of the planet. Of everything in the war, however, nothing was more devastating than when U.S. President Harry Truman ordered the dropping of two nuclear weapons known as atomic bombs on two Japanese cities. Though bombs were only dropped in Japan, the shock of this attack was felt worldwide. President Harry S. Truman's bold decision to drop atomic bombs on two Japanese cities in August 1945 caused the Second World War to end, and succeeded in forcing the surrender of the Japanese forces who had previously refused to compromise and end the conflict. After the end of the war, the United States occupied Japan and rebuilt the destroyed country. Japan significantly downsized its military and also became a base for United States military forces. World War II was formed from the ashes of World War I. The Allied power forced the Central Power to sign the Treaty of Versailles in 1919. However, this treaty forced countries such as Germany to give up many territories which greatly angered Germans. A new dictator, Adolf Hitler, helped Germany rise to power. Later. Germany worked with the Soviet Union to invade Poland. Japan played a large part of the war, invading China, Indonesia, the Philippines, Vietnam, and many other surrounding countries. Japan also bombed Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, causing the United States to declare war on Japan the next day. On one side of the war was the Allies' power, consisting of the United States, United Kingdom, the Soviet Union, and many other countries led by Franklin D. Roosevelt, Winston Churchill, and Joseph Stalin. On the other side of the war was the Axis power, consisting of Germany, Italy, Japan, and a few others, led by mostly Adolf Hitler, Benito Mussolini, and Hirohito. Throughout the war, the Allies were crumbling under the Axis attacks. By 1943, the Axis had conquered most of Europe and a large part of Asia. However, the Allies eventually managed to push back in both Europe and Asia, and succeeding in liberating all of Europe and forcing the surrender of Germany and Italy, who were two major powers of the Axis. A lot of pressure was put on the former Vice President, Harry Ship Truman. Harry S. Truman was born on May 8, 1884 in Lamar, Missouri. He was the first of three children and the son of Josh Anderson Truman, who was a farmer, and Martha Ellen Truman, who was a stay-at-home mom. After graduating high school in 1901, he got his first job as a timekeeper for a railroad construction company, and then he came back home to work on his father's farm. He also joined the National Guard. World War I happened on July 28, 1914. Harry S. Truman volunteered. He organized with a few other people a National Guard regiment, which was called to service in the 129th Field Artillery. Truman was promoted to captain and then soon assigned to Battery D a unit of artillery, rocket launchers, missiles, etc. After the war, he came home and married Elizabeth Wallace in 1919. Truman bought into politics and ran for a judge in Jackson County, but lost. Truman ran for judge again in 1927 and won. After his term, he was elected as senator from Missouri in 1934 and formed the Truman Committee in March 1941 to investigate the event, which proves to be one of the most successful investigative efforts ever mounted by the United States. Franklin D. Roosevelt had already served three terms as president and ran again in the 1944 election due to his popularity. He chose Harry S. Truman as his running mate. They were inaugurated on January 20th, 1945. However, FDR was present for just 82 days until he had a hemorrhagic stroke. On April 12, 1945, FDR died and Truman was sworn in as president. 
as president, Truman made lots of decisions which significantly affected the war and helped the Allies push back against the Axis. Despite many countries surrendering through the war, Japan was still fighting and was keeping a strong defense. One option to end the war was conventional bombing of the Japanese home islands. However, despite firebombing Tokyo, the Japanese still did not surrender. Truman considered a ground invasion, but Japan had made great sacrifices to win battles, and Truman knew that there would be too many deaths on both sides and that Japan would not surrender. After Truman was sworn into president, he was informed about the making of the atomic bomb on April 24, 1945. This weapon had been in development in a secret program known as the Manhattan Project in Los Alamos, New Mexico. The idea was first proposed when the United States entered the war by physicist Albert Einstein. The project was overseen by U.S. Major General Leslie Groves. The actual development of the bomb was led by Robert Oppenheimer. This project began in mid-World War II and lasted until the end of the war. This new weapon presented two more options to the president. The first was a demonstration of the weapon in an unpopulated area of Japan. The second was to drop the bomb on a large city to give Japan a warning of what could happen to them if the war continued. On August 6 and 9, the atomic bombs were dropped. This brought devastation and fear to Japan, which caused them to surrender. A short time ago, an American airplane dropped one bomb on Hiroshima and destroyed its usefulness to the enemy. That bomb has more power than 20,000 tons of TNT. The Japanese began the war from the air at Pearl Harbor. They have been repaid many fold, and the end is not yet. With this bomb, we have now added a new and revolutionary increase in destruction to supplement the growing power of our armed forces. To try to keep the peace in the world, the United Nations was formed. The United Nations is a peace organization formed by the former allies. Any member of the United Nations who is attacked would help be defended by the other members of the organization. This organization turned out to be a huge success and is still around today. On September 8, 1951, five and a half years after World War II ended, the Treaty of San Francisco was signed between the Japanese, English, French, Spanish, Italian, Germany, Chinese, and Russian. This treaty was mostly for peace between Japan and the Allies' power, but Russia and Japan wanted to ensure peace with everyone else. Over 60 countries attended to this treaty. And there was a very detrimental impact after the bomb, and one of the biggest impacts was diseases, cancer, health issues, territory, islands, supplies, and food. When those two bombs were dropped, 100,000 people were killed instantly and 50,000 people died from radiation, burns, cancer, or other health issues. The war may have stopped, but Japan had a very horrendous outcome. The economy plummeted rapidly during the war and after the war. Japan lost 65 billion yen because they used the government's money on food, supplies, and rebuilding the cities instead of other programs such as education. Japan worked with the United States after the war to rebuild the cities and economy. When Harry S. Truman ordered the atomic bombs to be dropped onto Japan, it was a daring but smart decision and managed to close World War II and bring more peace between countries. Truman is the only president in history to exploit their power to use a nuclear weapon. Although it was a courageous decision, it proved to be a good one on when Japan agreed to surrender. The surrender was handled well the United States occupied Japan for a short time and helped rebuild the destroyed cities along with the defense force. After, after years, the United States left Japan and Japan built up a defense military. Truman's bold decision to drop atomic bombs on two Japanese cities in August 1945 caused the Second World War to end and succeed in forcing the surrender of the Japanese forces who had previously refused to compromise and end the conflict.